I wanted to do a field update on my evaluation of the H10 Pro uh, in the field and I'm getting disappointing results. It's maintaining sensitivity on the CFC refrigerants but it's lost sensitivity on the HFC refrigerants which is 410A and SRL8 has always been great on the HFC refrigerants but really sucks on the CFC refrigerants. The Impacon TechMate, or this is a PerkMate, which is the same thing. Super sensitivity on the CFC refrigerants, you know, pretty useless on the HFCs. But I was hoping the H10 could eliminate the need for two of these. This leak detector is rock stable. This leak detector is a little bit squirrely. It's a lot better if you put blue, pack, uh, blue painter's tape on it so it doesn't pick up static, you know, rubbing around on things. And, uh, but it's, I need to get the leaks and this is the only one that's getting the leaks. I got a real world one pound per year leak that I'll show you in this video and the H10 just can't get it. Yeah, I wanted to show, we have a leak on this evaporator. It's right around here. It's a one pound per year leak. So I gassed it up last year, added a pound. It's not very old. I wanted to show the H10 Pro is not picking it up at all. It's totally missing the leak. This is R410A. I don't get anything. And SRL8 with the tape modification on the end. Take it off mute. So we're at high sensitivity. It barely picks it up. You hear it? It picks it up as a very faint leak. Only on that side. It's right around here. So this is real world, one pound per year leak on a system. Here's the uh, HFC reference bottle. I just installed a brand new sensor for the H10 Pro. I'm running the sensor quite hot, as you can see, by the orange color. It's very sensitive to CFC. You see about a quarter inch picking it up. But the brand new sensor, nothing on the HFC. No sensitivity for the 410A. And then SRL8. Quite sensitive. Easily picks it up. So, yeah, this is still my best uh, leak detector. SRL8. The H10 is uh, not able to pick up the HFC.